in Life is Strange Before the Storm, the optional collectible you can get are graffiti that Chloe can tag all over the place, unlike the first game where it's Max taking pictures. So here are how to get all the graffiti in all the episodes. There are 10 in each episode, so bear in mind that there will be location spoilers in this video. With that in mind, let's see where all the optional graffiti are that you can tag in Life is Strange Before the Storm. This place is awesome. If I'm gonna get inside, I'll have to The first to one is door. in the old mill where you first arrive as Chloe. So walk past the fire, walk past the RV, and you have to go around it and you will see this panel. This is your first graffiti tag. Tag however you want. Now what to draw? Definitely, absolutely not a meth lab. Just follow now the, the second one is sound. when Chloe gets Can't into the old in mill. You can see that this area is quite small. However, you should just walk by everyone and go to this old saw blade. This is where you tag your second graffiti. Sit and spit. Now in the third one, there is a bit of a sequence as Chloe uh, before you can get up. So, once you've regained full control of Chloe, this is where the third graffiti is. Better Walk up to the clothes. poster past Mr. Sharky and it should say fantasy no poster. Tear that down no and unveil and a no side of the wall fucking. which is just blank. There, you you'll be able to graffiti wisdom, tag that. Everything's worth a shot. To get the fourth graffiti, when you're outside of your house, after speaking what to David, this? he'll ask you to Quality go get a time. socket wrench from the garage. Go into the Better garage the and socket. this is where the fourth graffiti is. Open David's toolbox and just take the socket wrench out of his toolbox. 50-50 chance I smash him in the face with this. 60-40. Maybe 90-10. The camera will put yourself facing forward, but look over back to the God. left and you can tag David's toolbox. Treatment. What message does David really need to hear? Got it. You're welcome. After David drops you off, you will have a conversation with Elliot. How awesome last night was. So Once you regain full class. control of Chloe though, walk by the stage and to the building in front of you where it was the old swimming pool from the first game. The graffiti tag is on the wall next to it. Ladies and gentlemen, Principal Worlds. You're inside okay. Blackwell for uh, the next tag. The Once the drama people leave the room and you get full control of Chloe again, like the tag is inside out. the changing room Should on the Tempest that? poster right. on the door on the left. Save my life. Get some ink. Crates. The tag after that would be on the train. Move the crate out of the way. Things heavier than it looks. But instead of sitting down, go behind down. and you look at the graffiti. There is no tag yet, so you, you will have humans, to look at no it and humanity. listen to what Chloe has to say Everybody about the graffiti. Is somebody, but no one wants to be themselves. <laughs> Some preachy graffiti up in this train. Now you get to leave your own mark on it.
Everybody lies. I like that. The next tag is after Chloe and Rachel jump off the train. Once you regain full control of Chloe again, walk over to this stand of Dwight Mueller, the designer. Where are all my explorer ladies at, though? Probably at home, washing laundry and spitting out kids. Fuck you, Dwight. But instead of tagging the sign, you want to tag the statue. Stop sextanting the interns. Fuck. This. The next one, you have to do it in a sequence. First, walk over to the sign and smash it. Then walk over to the cans of paint, smash that as well. Good kick or put the paint onto the sign. Now you can graffiti the paint splatter. The last tag is in a dream sequence. What's going on? There's also What's a past? proper sequence to doing this. Prologue. So first Shit. off, look at the poster of the Tempest. Kiddo. Look on the bright side, would ya? After that, move the poster of the Tempest. Hey. The graffiti options should open, but Where Chloe doesn't marker? have a marker. Where is it? It's in the wine bottle. Oh. There it is. Take the marker. And now you can graffiti it. It's important to do this in sequence so that the scene doesn't end before you get the chance to tag the chair. Dad used to hate it when I wrote on shit. Later. After the start of episode 2 where you reap the repercussions of episode 1, you'll end up in the car park and this is where you can get your Looks first like tag. David's here. Walk to the right, awesome. and on the back of the pickup truck, you can graffiti the apparently speakers for the Tempest. Hmm. What could the Tempest use more of? Everybody wants to have a good time, right? When you end up in the junkyard, there's two graffitis that you can tag here. One very early on and one later on. How do you know which way is up? when your whole life has been turned upside down. First of all, go left, and then go to the boat hmm. and try to climb it. Damn. Chloe Damn would not be able cigarette. to climb it because of cigarettes, obviously. Now prop the pallet up. Now you can climb the boat. Shit. Your graffiti is on the hood lying on the back of the I boat. Want to tell my fellow sailors of the that is the first graffiti of the junkyard. Got it. After completing all the tasks in the junkyard, Chloe will be inside her famous pickup truck from the first game. 
The next graffiti tag is on the wall of the back of the truck. You only get one chance to make a first expression. The eye sees all. The next tag is also in the junkyard, but in the next scene, in Chloe's junk shack. Hello, junk shack. Once you get control of Chloe, go to the right to and just graffiti on the wall next to it. Frank. The next graffiti oh, tag is I in get? Frank's RV. Just go around behind and tag the grocery list next to the sink. Got it. Chloe will get dropped off in Blackwell after that, so you have two graffiti tags here. First of all, walk over to this cement path and walk across it. Then you can graffiti it. Welcome to hell. The next graffiti tag is in this room with Samuel in it. However, Chloe will tell you why Such you can't tag nice it yet. White door. Though it feels like it's missing something, doesn't it? Too bad I can't tag it with Samuel standing right there. You'll have to complete the story puzzles for Chloe to get Samuel out of the room anyways. So when you've done that, you're free to go in and tag that door. The next tag Which is after is you Drew's enter room? the boys' dormitory. Before you go into Drew's room, there's an open door on the right. Go inside. You'll find that this is Elliot's room. Go to the drawer and open it and then read his journal. You'll find a bunch of poetry in there, but then Chloe soon realizes what That's it's about. Bad. Oh, Elliot is... <laughs> Wait... Are these about me? What the fuck, Elliot? Go back outside and then go to Elliot's whiteboard. Erase that. And now you can tag it. Elliot likes to write poetry about You have me. to do this in sequence. <laughs> if you haven't read the journal thoughts. yet, the option to tag it and erase the Roses whiteboard would red, not be there. Violets are blue, and you're kind of a creeper, dude. The tag after is when Chloe gets roped into the play. I can't believe Once Chloe is in full dress, go to the mirror to the right of her and you can graffiti that. When life gives you lipstick, use it to tag shit. Got it. The last tag of episode 2 comes at the Amber House. The tag isn't the crossword puzzle that's lying on the table though, it's the newspaper Something article at the fridge. Photo doesn't seem right. However, Chloe will explain why she can't tag it. Can't tag this while Rachel's mom is right there. She totally bust me. Follow and Mrs. Amber's instructions and sooner or later her back will be turned. Joint up a bit. Finally. Mrs. Amber has her back turned. <sighs> Time to fix this photo. And that is the last tag of episode 2. I need some the first two tags of episode 3 her. are both in Rachel's room. The first one is the map of the USA next to Rachel's Maybe bed. I can make the world a less scary place. On stage, I think Rachel said...
And the second one is Rachel's planner lying on her table. I think Rachel could use another subject. But which one? That's the one. The next two tags are when Chloe goes back home. Once you regain full okay. control of Chloe, uh, go over to the left to and look at the class photo. The shower would be fucking amazing. Inaccurate as of yesterday. Someone should update this photo. After that, you can graffiti it immediately. The record to show. A sudden and mysterious absence of Chloe Price. The second tag is not in Chloe's bedroom though, it's outside of it. Go into your mum's room and turn right. You'll see a calendar with a sports car on it. That's your sports next tag. Sports cars are really good for... Hitting on chicks. The fifth tag will be in the junkyard when Chloe's fixing up her truck. When you're actually given control to fix the truck, look at the fuel filter on the right. This thing is going to Chloe will take it out and put it in front of her. Pick the blow option. Once she blows the gunk out, you can tag that. Sick. Hmm, what do I see? <laughs> I know. This is the place with the most tags. There are three in the hospital. Once you get control of Chloe, go to the left and then hit the vending machine until the candy bar falls off. While I wait for Rachel to wake up. Come on. Not that I have any coins anyway. Oh man, jackpot. more of those you can't tag that yet but that is one Pretty of the tags the in the hospital nutritionists meet here after hours and pig out try to leave the hospital and Chloe will run into an awkward situation oh, shit. I know those guys once the coast is clear go towards the poster at the end of the doorway that's your first tag 
Okay, nurses. The world wants to know. What's so funny? Cue laugh track. After visiting Drew in the hospital, uh, try to eat his you pudding. You're doing? Uh, y you don't want that pudding, right? Uh, I'll take it off your hands for you. Over my dead body. Beat him Wonder in the back talk to cheer him up. I'll cheer Drew up. Let's see if I can convince Drew that I need the pudding more than he does. Hey, Once Drew's cheered up, you can, can sign his cast. cast. That is the Go second tag. Hmm. Something encouraging. But not too encouraging. There you go. Thanks a lot. When you leave Drew's room, you can get full control of Chloe again. This time, go to the right and go I to the vending machine. Vending you should be able to tag that now. Improved. Oh yeah, I got it. Nurse, I'll need my forceps to extract this baby Ruth. I the tag after is in the Amber House in James's office. Communication with Sarah that can help me Go open the left drawer of his table and you can tag the bottle. The last tag is back in the old mill. Where the hell is Walk Sarah? to where the bar counter is and take the knife. <sighs> then look behind you and go to the sheet metal panel and take it off. Over there, there's a tag that says, don't mess with Damon Merrick. Destroy that, and that is the final tag of the entire game. I'm not a there, there are all the tags in Life is Strange Before the Storm. I hope you found this guy useful, and I will see you again soon. Damn, you cigarettes.